help your back and you've got all the things you need. Um, I forgot to mention that um, something to time yourself with would be really useful as well. So whether it's just a watch on your wrist or you can see a clock on the wall in the house or on your phone if you've got a stopwatch so that we can do some time challenges um, and that will make it easier. I'm sure that you wouldn't be there for like four hours anyway, but if you are, that's good. We don't mind. Um, the topic I wanted to go on about today is um, spiders, because most people have quite a strong opinion of spiders. It's not something that many people are like, oh, whatever. Some people like them a lot, and a lot of people really don't like them much at all. Um, and there have been quite a lot of spiders in literature, and I'm sure that some of you have either read the books or seen the films of the books um, that include them, such as um, Aragog, who was in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. He was an acromantula, but quite clearly a tarantula, I think. Um, and he was good friends with Hagrid and nice to Hagrid. But when um, Harry and Ron went to speak to him, um, it didn't turn out so well from them. And they were chased by Ar Aragog and his family. And it was quite scary. That bit of the film makes me grab somebody's hand. Um, in Lord of the Rings, we have Shelob, who's... Um, part demon, part spider, and she's a bit of a baddie as well, and guards the way into um, Sauron's kingdom, and um, causes a bit of trouble when she bites um, Frodo and poisons him when he's trying to get through into Mordor. Um, then some of you may also have read or seen the film of Coraline, and in that we have the other mother, who is very lovely to Coraline in this world, but in the other world, she is actually known as the Beldam, and she is the arachnoid ruler of the other world, and not a very nice character. There are some nice spider characters in fiction as well, though. Now, it's not all bad. Some people write spiders as good characters. So we have Charlotte um, from the book Charlotte's Web, which has also been made into a film, so you may have read or seen the film. And in that film, Charlotte is a barn spider and she actually saves Wilbur the pig's life by writing words about him in her web so that he becomes a bit of a sensation and it saves him being taken to slaughter. Um, also, there is Miss Spider in James and the Giant Peach and she is a very good natured spider and she actually looks after James in the book. And again, that's been made into a film, so you may have seen it. So... Spiders, you may have a strong feeling about them one way or the other, um, but they do tend to bring out strong emotions in people, which makes them a very good character for a poem or in a short story. Um, so have a think about words that you think about as soon as the word spider is mentioned. So what I want you to do now is to set timers or on the clock for five minutes, and we're going to do a web of ideas and words that we think of when we think about spider. So if you've got paper, paper is actually probably the easiest way for just getting down initial ideas and things. Um, and on here I've just scribbled spider and lots of little web lines coming out. So have a brainstorm about words that come to you when it comes to spider, how they look, how they make you feel, um, find details about them, how you might think they sound. Um, not usually smells associated with spiders, but then you might have an idea that if they're in a shed where it's musty or damp. Um, anything that you can think of, or even little ideas about the kind of character a spider might have in your head. So five minutes, get writing. I'll see you then. Bye.